Hello, SICW wrestling fans. Welcome to another SICW Sunday night. I'm here tonight with promoter Herb Simmons, and in difference of our normal Sunday night all-star wrestling, we're going to take a little a little travel this time. We're going to travel the rest of 2022, and I'm great to be joined here with promoter Herb Simmons. And Herb, we can talk about all the great things that SICW has done here this year, but there's a lot of a lot of the year left to go. Yeah, so uh, you know we've been doing real good. And a lot of feedback from the Sunday night program. Uh, we're really thankful for all the uh, fans who tune in uh, on all of our social media platforms and this TV. So uh, you're right. It's uh, we got a lot uh, coming up uh, for the remainder of the year. Absolutely. And one thing I want to touch on that is in the past, but it's still happening a lot here, is just recently PBS released that great movie, Head Over Heels. Wrestling at the Chase. A lot of good feedback about that. Uh, thanks to uh, our good friend uh, Ed Wheatley and uh, PBS uh, Nine. Uh, you know, it was a great uh, premiere. Uh, we were fortunate to be there, and uh, a lot of other uh, fans came out, and it was just amazing to hear all of the uh, stories that the people who attended that premiere talked about how their parents and grandparents mm -hmm. watched wrestling at the chase and uh you know cowboy bob orton was in attendance with us there that night and uh gary the night train jackson and uh, the big texan a lot of the sicw uh stars was out there that night so it was really uh, it was really good for sicw to be a part of that absolutely and pbs is still uh presenting that multiple times on their platform it's available on their youtube but right here tonight, we're going to give you a sneak peek of just a few minutes of what it was like for Head Over Heels Wrestling at the Chase. Hello, everybody. Bush Bavaria, America's most refreshing beer, presents Joe Garagiola and Wrestling at the Chase. It has been off the air since 1983. And now, the main event. Yet for many St. Louisans, those four words wrestling at the chase. Yes. still ring a bell. King Kong Brody. Jane Kaniski. The Pock. Gorgeous George. Bobo Brazil. Dick the Bruiser. It was part opera and part soap opera, full of arm twists and plot twists. Whenever that TV was on, wrestling, we was watching it. Grandpa was beating the sofa, and Grandma was beating the other sofa. Kevin has a claw! The spinning toe hold. The atomic drop. The figure four leg lock. The Las Vegas leg lock. The sleeper hold. The jump off the top rope with the knee and the headbutt. I would call it a violent ballet. Oh! For almost a quarter century, thousands of St. Louisans had a weekly appointment with their television sets to watch a madcap morality play based on a sport with no season, no scoring, and arguably no sport, since the winners were picked before the matches began. It was really the fans who were having their legs pulled. I never talked to my dad about it. He knew I knew, and I knew that he knew I knew. <laughs> oh, boy. But even fans who understood how it worked were willing to wink back because they found themselves hooked by the storyline and drawn to the characters. You get up and you run up to the front, and you know, you boo, 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 and like, come on out here, come on out here. It's time to come It had something for everyone. Good versus evil. Hero worship and anger management. Beauty and the beast. And to follow it, all you had to know was how to count to three. It was campy and it was retro even then. That was when wrestling had a certain good-natured innocence about it. I looked up to these guys like they were movie stars. We had the first must-see TV. It was wrestling at the chase. Over the years, the show was broadcast on different days of the week but most fans remember watching it either on Saturday nights or Sunday mornings. Families went to church early so they could be home in time to watch cowboys and crybabies beat each other to kingdom come. It gave people a chance to kind of let out all their frustrations and put them in the ring. There's a choke. My mother thought it was ridiculous, you know, <laughs> as so many mothers did but we would watch it together. 
In the 1960s and 70s, what Broadway was to theater and Hollywood was to film, St. Louis claimed it was to professional wrestling. If you got known here in a big way, you were gonna be known all over the country. And the promoter who made it all happen was a pudgy man with a funny name. Sam Muchnick, a respected promoter in a business that had very few of them. He didn't run it like the typical professional wrestling promoter. He ran it like a legitimate sport. Look at him. There were two other ingredients critical to the success of wrestling at the chase, the location and the station. And Harold Koppler owned them both. He took a gritty sport and he gave it this sort of elegant platform. What is more fun than that? Hello. The appeal of wrestling at the chase was simple. The phenomenon is a more complicated story, but mostly it's a love story between professional wrestling and its ardent fans who have always been more intrigued by what it was than bothered by what it was not. I just got hooked on it, that simple. It's something I fell in love with. Valid. Well, Herb, that, some great footage there, and it makes you want more. It makes me want to go back and watch the whole thing again. Well, every time uh, Ed and I talk, you know, hey, uh, can't wait for uh, round two or, uh, uh, you know, the sequel to mm -hmm. that. So, uh, you know, he's been very successful on his uh, uh, baseball films that he's done, and hopefully it's going to be the same. Uh, maybe he'll uh, win an Emmy Award for uh, the Head Over Heels. Absolutely, definitely deserves it. And speaking of Ed Wheatley, there's great things to come later on this year with author Ed Wheatley, and you were able to catch up with him earlier this week. So let's take a moment and look at a little interview between Herb Simmons and Ed Wheatley earlier this week. Well, fans, as you just heard uh, Ryan say, we uh, caught up with Ed Wheatley uh, uh, earlier this week, and Ed, uh, Appreciate you taking a few moments out to uh, bring our fans up here on our Sunday night uh, program to give us uh, kind of a recap. I mean, we've had a lot going on uh, ever since the Wrestling at the Chase book came out, but most recently that PBS uh, 9 uh, documentary. Uh, still getting a lot of good feedback. Yeah, I mean, and not only are we getting good feedback, you know, uh, 9 PBS continues to show it. Uh, it you know, on scheduled dates, you can go to the 9PBS website and get those exact dates of when it'll be reshowing. But you can also go to the 9PBS website and pull it up and view it online at your leisure. Uh, just go in there. It's called Head Over Heels, Remembering Wrestling at the Chase. So you can pull it up and watch it anytime, or you can watch it on the scheduled dates. And uh, you know, also keep an eye out, um, you know, all the Herb site and all the other um, sites in support of wrestling at the chase and uh, we've got a few more showings that are going to be popped up at different places we just completed a, a showing for two nights uh earlier this week uh celebrating the 100th anniversary of the chase park plaza and you know what is more of a focal point of that hotel's history than wrestling at the chase well i, I when i saw that uh, get advertised i was so excited about being there uh, also right there in the, the cinema at the Chase Park Plaza, just down the hallway from the beautiful course on room. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, as I keep telling the fans, it's just really been a ride uh, ever since uh, we uh, first started talking, you started talking about the book. Uh, and I mean, it's just kind of like the domino effect. I mean, it took you a while to get the book done and, and what a book that was, uh, that coffee table book. But then along comes the, the documentary and the, the night of that uh, premiere was just something really special, I think, goes down. And in my uh, book is uh, up there on the top of that, uh, uh, the most exciting of my career. It was a, you know, you think about all these big Hollywood films and the premieres and the film party. And boy, was it, that night was just like it, you know, in their huge, huge courtyard between the 9 PBS and the uh, UMSL uh, building right next door. They have this huge courtyard with this humongous screen filled with people. We even had a wrestling ring that we were doing promos from during uh, the pledge breaks. And so, uh, you know, I think the love and the memories of that program really came out that night. I mean, it was just everyone who has seen the film has, uh, you know, just come with an instant memory, just like the book, you know, those four words, 
wrestling at the chase brings out the memories, but it's a, you know, it's, it's still setting great audience records and uh, we continue to look for more and many more things. This is not just a one-time thing done in May and June, 2022. This is going to live for a long, long time. Well, and I think that's uh, what you talked about from the get go. It's it's kind of uh, lit the fire underneath it. You know, there's always been a lot of fans of wrestling at the chase for many years. That's why here at SICW, we continue that tradition and that legacy. And uh, I got to tell you, the book, this film, uh, these book signings that you've been doing is just keeping that fire uh, lit even brighter. And I'm really excited that SICW has been able to be a part of it. And you talked about uh, some future dates coming up. Uh, the uh, big one, the History Museum. Yeah, now that that's the uh, Missouri History Museum in Forest Park, right off Lindo. You know, one of the crown jewels buildings inside Forest Park. Uh, we're going to have an event there on August 25th, and it is a spectacular event, and it's going to be all focused on this film, this history of this St. Louis spectacle that was, you know, two and a half decades in being. Uh, and we've got a lot of surprises that night. It is free. It is at the History Museum uh, there on Lindell Avenue. Uh, it opens, events will start around uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock, so you want to be there. And uh, there will be a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memorabilia, uh, some discussions. There will be some films, and there might even be some surprises you don't want to miss. Well, I'm going to tell you, when you, you took me over there uh, here a couple of months back and started talking about it, I was so impressed with the setup there. And I'm really looking forward to August the 25th because you're right. There's there, I, what I've come to learn real quick uh, in my uh, friendship with you is you're full of surprises all the time. And uh, August 25th is going to be no different. Well, it's going to be no different. You know, you, you keep the people wanting to come. You want to keep them surprise and the other thing you want to do is you want to keep it new you don't want to just take the same show week after week the same places you want them to come see something special something new and there's some really neat special and cool things that'll uh, take place that that evening oh yeah and i can't wait for that august the 25th the st louis history museum and then we got another day just a couple of days uh, after that uh, at the uh, washington uh, missouri area yeah, in Washington, Missouri, we're doing uh, some sponsorship on uh, promoting reading and memories of Saint, of Missouri history. And what is better than wrestling at the chase is a memory that because, you know, wrestling at the chase was just not a St. Louis locale. I mean, they were across the Midwest with their uh, broadcasts. And, you know, that was the one thing in writing the book. We we found so many people in those days, especially, you know, in, in 59 when it debuted, you know, there was not cable TV. You know, we had people up, you know, towards Springfield, Illinois, turning their antennas on Saturday night or Sunday mornings to get a better uh, line to St. Louis. And, you know, that's where they wanted to pick up wrestling at the chase. So it went throughout uh, the Midwest there and Washington, Missouri, just, you know, uh, a few miles outside St. Louis down uh, Highway 44. They're going to have a big book festival. And one of the uh, premier books being offered is, is Wrestling at the Chase. And to, uh, to expand on the book itself, we're going to let you see really what that was all about. So working with Herb and SICW, we're going to have some promotions, some wrestling matches there. That kind of, after we tell the story of how did Wrestling at the Chase come to be, and all these people's memories coming alive, we're going to see out there what it was really like. And it's all taking place at the uh, Washington City Library on Lafayette Avenue. So it's uh, come out and see, hear the talk, and uh, you'll see uh, several matches by the SICW team. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, you know, uh, anytime to, uh, we can go out and help promote uh, wrestling at the chase, the, uh, the book, the film, or just the, uh, the local talent that we have. I'm happy to uh, to be teaming up with uh, my good friend uh, from uh, uh, American Championship Wrestling on this. Uh, he'll be uh, help me co-sponsor it. Uh, a lot of his great talent will be there. Uh, talking about the searcher, uh, you've met him a couple times at some of our shows, and uh, he'll be in Washington, Missouri, with us that night. But I tell you, you better bring plenty of books along because 
I can tell you that area was always good for wrestling fans, and it hasn't changed. Uh, uh, generation after generation still love the old school that Sam Muchnick uh, started on television in 1959. Well, I mean, yeah, this is going to be a walk down memory lane. You know, go back to the to the first years. How did wrestling at the chase get to be? And you know, the thing that people always have to remember. And it's said many times, many places, just not by me, not just by you, but, you know, the people across the tr uh, country in the wrestling business. Had it not been for the success of wrestling at the chase, what we have today with the WWE, even today's rebounding in the NWA and all these other local areas that popped up, it all comes back to Sam Muchnick and wrestling at the chase. Well, I think that was so well laid out in the book, in the mm -hmm. film. Um, you know, Sam was that uh, spark behind the knock. And uh, and like I said, we were just fortunate to be building on the foundation that he laid many, many years ago. And uh, we're going to continue to do that. Uh, fans, you've been uh, listening to uh, Ed Wheatley. I was glad we was able to catch up with him. You know, we just wanted to recap that. Uh, yep. Head over heels, the wrestling at the chase. Uh, the uh, St. Louis History Museum on August the 25th. You want to be there, as you heard him say, there's probably going to be a lot of surprises that night. And then August the 27th in Washington, Missouri. And you can stay tuned to uh, this program or, or the social media. And uh, you're going to be hearing a lot more about these dates coming up. Ed, and there's going to be a lot more things still to come that we just oh, can't yeah. speak of. Can't speak of them, but I can tell you it's got uh, a lot to do with uh, uh, down in uh, Missouri. And uh, so just stay tuned to follow Ed Wheatley on his social media uh, and then follow, of course, SICW uh, each and every Sunday night uh, right here on your uh, local uh, social media platforms. And uh, we'll have a lot more coming your way. Thank you. Thanks. Well, wrestling fans, there you have it. Big things to come. Missouri History Museum coming up and so much, much more. We're going to take a quick commercial break. After that commercial break, we're going to be back with you for more trips on the future of 2022. Wrestling fans, join us this Thursday and every Thursday at Tim and Joe's 6500 West Main every Thursday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. for our live music Thursdays. This Thursday, July 21st, we'll be joined by Hunter Peebles, 6500 West Main in Belleville, every Thursday night. Tell Andy you heard about it here on SICW All-Star Wrestling. Wrestling superstar Bobby D now has his own line of apparel and his own online wrestling merchandise store. Visit www.bobbydwrestling.com for all of the great wrestling memorabilia from Belleville's own Bobby D. Lincoln Place Pawn in Fairview Heights will take care of all of your cash loan and pawn shop needs. They deal in gold, jewelry, guns, tools, and much, much more. Lincoln Place Pawn, located at 823 Lincoln Highway in Fairview Heights, Illinois. Call 618-632-2274. Lincoln Place Pawn is the place to visit. Herb, as we move on through the year, big things still to come. The next one I want to talk about is a private event, but a big event. Thursday, September 15th, SICW is returning to the Missouri Athletic Club. Well, and you say, you know, it's a private event, uh, and we do them uh, periodically and have uh, in the past and will continue in the future. But you're right, going back to Missouri Athletic Club, a historical venue that is. I mean, I think you were impressed with it. Absolutely. Everybody was there, sellout crowd of, of their members at the Missouri Athletic Club. Uh, a lot of uh, friends, Sam Muchnick was a member of it many, many years ago. Joe Millich, another good friend of ours. Uh, a lot of people, uh, members of the Missouri Athletic Club. And we're going to be coming back there on that Thursday night. And like you said, they wanted us to bring some legends in for that private show. Sergeant Slaughter will be with us, Jerry the King Lawler, and of course your good friend Jimmy mm -hmm. Hart, the mouth of the South, will be there. So that, that's, a, that's another big day for SICW in September. Absolutely. Great day. Great event. Uh, definitely going to sell out quick as they did last year, but a private event. So you got to be a member of Missouri Athletic Club to attend that. But we have a lot more events that aren't private. We have an event that same week, Saturday, September 17th, 
SICW is heading down the roadways to Sandoval, Illinois. Sandoval, Illinois, our good friend Bill Henson uh, helped uh, set that up. Bill, a, uh, a household name in Sandoval, Illinois, or in the Car anywhere in that area, Carlisle, anywhere at, uh, in that area. Uh, we're going to be coming there at the high school. Mm -hmm. Going to have a great match there. You may even see uh, Mr. Henson in the ring that night. Uh, he's, uh, he's that popular in Sandoval. Well, and Herb, you mentioned Mr. Henson in the ring. We were able to catch up with him earlier this week at the Ace Wrestling Academy where he might be getting ready for that uh, debut uh, when they return to Sandoval on Saturday, September 17th. So let's take a quick look at, at some words from uh, Mr. Henson when he was at the Ace Wrestling Academy. Hello, wrestling fans. Uh, thanks for joining us once again on this uh, uh, Sunday night uh, update of SICW All-Star Championship Wrestling. As you know, we've been adding in some uh, uh, people that uh, some future shows coming up, and boy, I'm really excited about this one coming up. I got Mr. Bill Henson here with us, Bill from Sandoval, Illinois. Yes, Bill, yes. We, we're coming out your way. Oh, we're looking forward to it. a lot of hype, a lot of build up. We're looking forward to having the great SICW fans come to Sandoval and put on the great show that they've been putting on right here in East Carondelet. Well, and that's the thing, you know, we've been all over uh, taking the show on the road. Uh, fans are uh, calling, organizations are calling and saying, hey, when are you coming here, when are you coming there? And uh, Bill has been one of those uh, gentlemen. Uh, you actually uh, uh, work at the school. Yes, I do. Uh, and uh, we were out there, had a nice uh, meeting, and uh, the, the buzz that night we were there seemed to be everybody's excited about it. Yes. It's a beautiful gymnasium yes. uh, right there in this fundraiser. In fact, we got a flyer right here. And not only is Bill going to be there, and he's going to be uh, be doing a little officiating. Yes. Uh, but uh, the ace cowboy Bob Orton Jr. Uh, will be there uh, in Sandoval, Illinois, on uh, Saturday, September the seventeenth, is where we're going to be at. And for those of you we used to run at uh, Oarius and Trey, Illinois, Salem, Illinois, all the way down to Mount Vernon, uh, but right now. Uh, on the 17th of September. We're gonna be right there at the uh, beautiful Sandoval High School and it's a fundraiser. Yes, it is. It's a fundraiser for our Sandoval Athletic Club. It's to help us to try to raise funds to buy uniform, equipment, any extra um, needs that we may have. Yeah. So, and again, like I said, we went out there, the school board uh, is very supportive of it. Uh, Bill is real active in the community there in the county, yes. in fact. And, uh, yes. and that's what we want. Uh, we want all the fans in Sandoval and that surrounding area uh, to come out and help support this great cause at the uh, Sandoval High School. Like I said, Cowboy Bob Orton Jr., who runs our Ace Wrestling Academy, will be, be there. I caught up uh, with uh, Bill here tonight at the Ace Wrestling Academy. Uh, he comes over here a couple nights a week, and uh, Cowboy Bob Orton uh, Jr. is here uh, helping train the, the next generation of professional wrestlers. So if you want to meet Cowboy Bob Orton Jr., the best time to do it is at Sandoval High School. Yes, it is. And as um, I've talked to her, um, Sandoval is no stranger to professional wrestling. In the past, I've promoted many events. We've had Honky Tonk Man. We've had Typhoon. We've had Dirty Dutch Mantel. And we've had so many others um, in, our, in the past. And we've always had a great attendance, great turnout. And we're looking forward to the excitement that SICW will bring. Well, and of course, you fans that follow SICW know that we've always got a, a rabbit we pull out of the hat. We never know what's going to happen, what type of matches we're going to have. The only thing I can tell you is they are going to be great matches. We're going to have seven matches, uh, professional wrestling matches. Uh, like I said, Bill's going to be there. He's going to be uh, doing some officiating for yes. us. So uh, come out and you get to uh, cheer the good guys, uh, boo the bad guys, do whatever you want. But the good thing is it's a fundraiser right there at the Sandoval High School. Real easy to get to, Bill. Right? Yes, it is. It's right on US Route 50 um, on the west end of Sandoval. You can come in from Centralia, you can come in from Salem, come in from Carlisle. Any way you want to come in, it's right there in the center of the Marion County. Well, and I just love the, the high school itself. I mean, it's got that uh, the gymnasium has got that uh, auditorium yes. atmosphere to it. When I pulled up out front, I thought, man, I was at a coliseum. You know? yes. That's exactly what it looked like. So uh, we're really excited about going there September the uh, 17th, uh, Sandoval, Illinois. Uh, like I said, we're going to have Cowboy Bob Horton Jr. there. We're going to have a whole list of the SICW grades. You never know who's going to be. Maybe an extra guest will be there. But uh, Bill, where can they get tickets at? I mean, when they go on sale, have you sure. got some spots you can, you can get tickets, of course, at the Sandoval High School. You can get tickets at Angie's Hair Express in Sandoval. And you can also get tickets at Maximum Tan, both in Salem and Centralia. 
Right, and there you have it. Take a look at that because you're going to see them floating all around the area out there, I can imagine. Oh, yes, and they're going to be plastered up everywhere. And I hear there may be another surprise, but we're not going to talk about it right now. But come on out if you want to see all the surprises that SICW brings. I'm telling you, you're going to hear a lot more as we go over the next week. So be sure to tune in here every Sunday night uh, for our SICW All-Star Championship Wrestling Updates. If you haven't been following us, start doing that because if you like old school wrestling, and Bill, I think that the, you can attest to SICW yes. is old school. It is professional wrestling the way it used to be, and I think you're going to love it. And that's exactly what we want. So mark that date on your calendar, and then uh, we'll be right back in a few moments with uh, a little bit more information. Uh, and if not, we'll see you next Sunday night here at the, the SICW All-Star See you wrestling. there. Herb, we talked about September being a busy month. It's not over. Saturday, September 24th, SICW is returning to Holy Rosary in Fairmont City, Illinois. Oh, it's always a great time in Fairmont City. Our good friend uh, Chief Allen from the fire department there uh, is always there to uh, bring the best for that community, him and the police chief, uh, the mayor. It's always a great time to be right there and this is going to be a barn burner I can tell you they've been planning for the last several months and uh, you, you definitely want to come to Fairmont City uh, on September the 24th I can tell you. It's going to be a good time we were able to catch up with some representatives from Fairmont City so let's take a look at what they have to say about SICW returning to their community. Hello wrestling fans, uh, coming to you once again on this uh, Sunday night episode of SICW All-Star Wrestling. And we've been talking about the big events that we've got coming up uh, throughout the rest of this year. And one of the big ones that we got that I'm really excited about, we're making a return trip to Fairmont City, Illinois, to the Holy Rosary Gymnasium. And I'm honored today to have uh, two uh, great individuals that are uh, the spark behind the knock of this show. Uh, the uh, fire chief from Fairmont City, uh, Chief Allen, and the police chief, uh, Chief Brown. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us this Sunday evening. Thanks for having us, sir. So, uh, you know, uh, we've been to Fairmont City before with the Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling, and uh, I think uh, both of you can attest to it, the benefits of the, the community way out. Everybody has a great time when they come to the show. Absolutely. We had a blast the last time we was here. Uh, we was, uh, well, the whole walls were rattling inside that gymnasium. I know I specifically remember some uh, issues with the weather that night, and we had to uh, bring out the resources to get that parking lot open. But I tell you what, it was well worth it. It was, and, uh, and this is going to be no different on uh, Saturday night, uh, September the 24th, uh, for you fans that follow SICW. As I said, we've been to Fairmont City before, a great community, and these two gentlemen right here. Uh, Chief Brown, I know this is kind of a joint uh, venture between the police department and fire department. Yes, I'm uh, eager to work with these guys. Uh, I just recently came back here after a short stint working with the sheriff's department, and I'm looking forward to working with uh, Chief Allen and you guys for this event. Well, we're gonna have a, a, a luchador match. We've already got that scheduled, and uh, I mean, it's going to be a barn burner, as we call it, in the wrestling business. Or Donnie Burke is our late great friend, Larry Matasek, for all USICW fans. Remember Larry Matasek? And in fact, uh, Larry was at a couple of our shows we had there in That's Holy rough. Rosary before he passed away. And uh, I know he'll be uh, uh, spiritually, he'll be there in the Holy Rosary uh, gymnasium that night because he always loved coming to Fairmont City. And uh, absolutely. Yeah, we've had uh, over the last couple of times we've been there, I think we've had a legend or two there. Uh, but uh, this uh, September 24th is not, as I said, it's going to be great. Uh, uh, we're always excited when we can help out our first responders and uh, these two gentlemen right here. Uh, chief, how long have you been uh, the fire chief there? I've been chief for 12 years. 12 years. And, and Chief Brown, you just came back from, uh, like you said, you was with the sheriff's department and uh, but you've been in law enforcement for how long? Uh, approximately 27 years. So uh, fans, you can see right there, we've got uh, two veterans uh, of our first responders. And for those of you who follow SICW know that for soon to be 50 years this coming February, that's kind of what we've been doing is trying to help our first responders as much as possible. And uh, this is gonna be one of those ones I always look forward to because I have a, a good connection with both of these gentlemen and they they do the right thing for their communities and 
uh, I mean, it seems like there's always something going on in Fairmont City that you guys are involved in, whether it's your annual picnics or fundraisers for the community, for the library. And uh, this is just another one of those events, I think, that's going to benefit everybody. That's for sure, Herb. There's not one thing that goes on in this town that we ain't got our fingerprint on. Well, and what I really like about it, and uh, and it, it goes on in other communities, but I see it so prevalent right there in Fairmont City. It's it's a community effort, uh, you know, from the mayor, the city council on down. It, it seems like they are putting the citizens of Fairmont City uh, above and beyond and up that ladder uh, above and beyond everything. It's a very unique town, and we've uh, thrived and, and, and survived by a close-knit family and we continue to do that today right and the uh i know you've got some sponsorships that you're working on that seems to always be a big uh, thing there in fairmont city your your business people come out of the woodwork i think to help support the first responders they uh, are very supportive of anything that we do and this is not going to be any different uh, we've already started selling tables and we've already had an interest sparked from the community, and, and I think it will be even larger as, as the days progress towards September. Right. So can you tell our viewers uh, the easiest way uh, for them to get uh, tickets? Tickets right now are being printed. They should be available by first of next week. Um, the Fairmont City Annex building uh, here in town at uh, 618 274 6306 is the phone number and my cell phone number is 618-973-8579 chief brown's cell phone area code 618-978-4407 those are three avenues that we could use to uh to to secure the tickets um they're also going to be available on uh, sicw's uh website as well and um i i would say at this point in the ball game it Better get them early. Well, it sure sounds like it. And as I said, uh, you know, Fairmont City is one of those uh, towns that the folks come out and support the professional wrestling. And uh, I know uh, Chief Allen, I hope to see your uh, father there. Uh, he always has a good time at the wrestling. I will matches. do my very, if I have to drag him down there, it's only a block and a half. And I think I'll, I'll, be, I'll get him there. Yeah. He already matter, knows about it. Either that or I'll send a, uh, a couple of the wrestlers down there to get him and bring him up oh, there, yeah. I'll tell you. And uh, we, we've even talked about uh, maybe having a, a little meet and greet with a couple of the Luchador uh, wrestlers that we've got book coming in. So I think that will stir some more interest. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, and fans, you can uh, you know join us every Sunday night here on our social media uh, platforms uh, and on the uh, Paranormal Intrigue TV uh, station uh, out of St. Louis. Uh, we will keep you informed uh, as things develop because uh, I got a feeling we haven't heard the last from these two gentlemen because uh, they leave no stones unturned when it comes to supporting their community events. And uh, Saturday night, September the 24th, the place you want to be is at the Holy Rosary Gym Nation. Uh, give them the address of that, Chief, will you? You know, 27, 27 North 43rd Street. And we'll have that up on our website. Uh, the posters that will be out. Uh, we're going to keep we're going to keep telling you about it every week on our show. Uh, and if you've got any questions, you can always call SICW at uh, 618-286-4848. And one of uh, the uh, staff people there will give you any information you need about that September 24th or any of the SICW events we've got coming up uh, over the next year. Gentlemen, I appreciate it. Uh, you joining us this evening. And uh, as always, uh, be safe out there. And we, uh, we appreciate each and everything you do for your community and for the entire county uh, here in St. Clair County. Thank you, Herb. We appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to do this show with you and, uh, and the uh, match in September. Very good. Thank you, fans. Uh, we'll be right back uh, with a lot more uh, action here on your Sunday night uh, update of SICW. Thanks, Herb. There you heard it, Herb. It's going to be great. Uh, Luchador-style wrestling returning to Fairmont City. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, it's going to be interesting. And I think this is our fourth or fifth time we've been in Fairmont City, and I'm really looking forward to coming back there. Definitely going to be a good time. Fans, we got to take another quick commercial break. We'll be back with you more of our travels in 2022 in just a few minutes. Wrestling fans, the Cauliflower Alley Club, better known as the CAC, has been around for 56 years. The CAC was formed to assist those men and women 
who have been in the wrestling business. Their main purpose is to help those men and women who have fallen on hard times. This year, the CAC celebrates their 56th year reunion in Las Vegas on September 26th through 28th. If you're a true wrestling fan, please consider becoming a member of the CAC by visiting their website. The CAC recently named SICW promoter Herb Simmons to the CAC Advisory Board as the club ambassador and communicator. Also named to the CAC Executive Board was longtime wrestling fan from the St. Louis region, Miss Darla Staggs. With your membership, the CAC will continue its mission of being there when one of our wrestlers needs them. Are you looking for that good quality repair garage? Look no further than Pawpaw Towing and Auto Repair. Located at 3492 Mississippi Avenue in Cahokia Heights, Illinois. For all your automotive repairs and service needs, let Pawpaw Towing and Auto Repair be the one to help you. 24-hour service for all the needs. Call 618-401-5220. Pawpaw Towing is the one to call. Well, fans, welcome back. And when we talk about big shows, some of them don't get much bigger than when SICW goes to the Belle Claire Fairgrounds. And Herb, October 1st, it's going to be the place to be. October 1st. You know, we know what happened last year uh, uh, at the uh, fairgrounds in Belleville, Illinois. Halloween spooktacular. And I'll tell you, it's uh, plans are already in the making. Uh, we'll be announcing some uh, wrestling legends that uh, will be there. And I'm really looking forward to Belleville, Illinois. You know, that's that was kind of home many, many years ago, back in the late 70s and 80s when SICW was running. And uh, a lot of the all-time greats were right there at that Belclair Fairgrounds. And it's going to continue. Absolutely going to be a great time. Let's take a trip back in time now and look at some highlights from the last times SICW was at the Belclair Fairgrounds. Take a look at that now.
wrestling fans, great times at the Belclair Fairgrounds. We've been there for many events, and October 1st is certain not to disappoint. Stay tuned to these SICW updates to find out the latest and greatest of what's going to happen. We're going to take a quick commercial break to hear from some of our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with you. Wrestling fans, are you looking for those vintage toys, those hard-to-find 70s, 80s, and 90s action figures? G.I. Joe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, Transformers. Look no further than Snyder Toys. They will have what you're looking for. Give Robert Snyder a call at 618-314-3266 for all your vintage toy needs. Wrestling fans, SICW Wrestling has been providing fundraising opportunities for several decades for local communities and nonprofit organizations. If your community or organization is in need of a great fundraising opportunity, SICW Professional Wrestling is the way to go. For more information or to schedule an event, call 618-286-4848 or 618-719-1034. We'll bring the matches to you. Herb, 2022 is uh, like a freight train rolling down the tracks. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And November 19th, we get a return to Belleville again to the Little Devils. Oh, what what a great time we were there last time. Our hometown uh, hero, Bobby D, who, if everything continues to go the way it's going, you know, he's on a winning streak. You yeah, know, absolutely. Uh, Central States champion, Bruiser Brody, Battle Royal winner. Uh, so... Uh, hopefully, uh, we get there into the November. Uh, he'll be uh, still having some uh, good wins underneath his belt. Absolutely, Bobby D. Belleville Zone, and we'll be back in his house at the Little Devils on November 19th. And Herb, we've talked about all this greatness to come. This afternoon, you got to spend time at the Gateway Grizzly Stadium. What a great time there, bringing wrestling back to the Grizzlies. Oh, yeah, anytime you can team up with an organization like the Gateway Grizzlies, you got to do that. That's that puts you up here, and because uh, I mean the Gateway Grizzlies is is uh, our own ball team right here, you know. And uh, this is uh, our second or third time that we've been there. You know, a few years ago we had Baron von Roschke there. We had Jerry Lawler, Rocky Johnson. Uh, there was that guy we're forgetting about. Um, you know, he used to be a manager. He's a nothing now, yeah. but he got a haircut. There. He got a haircut. That's where he got his head shaved and. Uh, uh, poor guy, I can't think of his name, Travis the Crook or so, something, something like that. Something like that, but we don't we worry about him anymore. He's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> he's gone. Some people don't like that, but those people didn't have to deal with him on a daily basis like I did. But uh, so we're really we were excited to be there uh, this afternoon. And uh, anytime you can, like I said, team up with the Gateway Grizzlies, that's what you want to do. And then uh, hopefully we're going to be back there in the near future. Absolutely. And Herb, one last thing before we wrap up for tonight. The next big show is Saturday, August 13th, back in the East Carondelet Community Center. And just recently, you announced another SI, excuse me, another wrestling legend that, that's coming to East Carondelet. Well, you know, the history of uh, SICW is we're trying to always continue the old school style. And we do that by, one, knowing what the old school style was, what the National Wrestling Alliance uh, was made of. And we continue to build on those three letters. I know Billy Corrigan uh, with the uh, NWA uh, doing a great job, but we follow that Sam Muchnick tradition. And so on uh, August the 13th, uh, we're going to be bringing in another one of those wrestling legends that people are familiar with, the Wildfire Tommy Rich. We'll be coming to the East Carolina Community Center that afternoon. He'll be doing a wrestling seminar for any of the uh, young men and women who are out there uh, wanting to follow their dream, or maybe you think you've got it, what it takes to be a wrestler. Uh, so you can uh, call the uh, number and uh, get signed up for that seminar. You have to register for that, 618-286-4848, uh, and we'll put that up on our screen. Absolutely. And um, get your uh, uh, spot reserved for that seminar and um, come out and see the wildfire, uh, Tommy Rich, and he'll tell you what it was like uh, back in the days when he was out there traveling the road. Absolutely, Herb. Been another great Sunday night here at SICW All-Star Wrestling. Don't forget to join us each and every Sunday night when we bring you the latest and greatest of SICW. And next Sunday night we will return with some of the greatest matches here from SICW and always including that classic footage. So until next Sunday night, we hope to see you at the matches.